Okay, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. My name is MC Haymaker and this is Sense No Day Grand Podcast. All this while we've been quiet, we've been under the scene, you know, we've been behind the scenes, putting things together just for you to feel excited, just for you to enjoy some rich content right here on Sense No Day Grand Podcast. Yes, I'm super excited, you know what, because everything is in place now. This is the, uh, we are getting to the end of August, we are entering September and you know what's going to happen do you know something is about to happen yes i'm talking about ogwa for two of 2022 actually if you come keep goes right now and eh, the things where they go on i tell you especially that one what's the ogwa feed that one saying oh yes orange friday is also around the corner but today you know i'll talk a bit of the festival and but i'm going to concentrate more on a samojan yes the uh, former black stars captain the former sunderland player and the former Udinese player, he is saying some things and we are going in there today. So don't go anywhere, stay glued, buckle up. You know what? Since No Day Grand Podcast is right here with you. You know it, I know it. <laughs> welcome back and welcome back my name is mc underscore haymaker or mc haymaker yes mc underscore is what you get on all social media platforms you can like my page on facebook at mc haymaker you can also link up on mchaymaker.com on twitter is mc underscore haymaker on instagram is mc underscore haymaker everywhere we are making hay everywhere something is going on and right now the attention is on says no day ground podcast you know why because this is where the energy is, this is where the vibe is, this is where everything falls in place. This is where you get the best and the best, I'm telling you, the best. <laughs> okay, so like I told you in the intro, we are going to talk about a Samojan, but we are going to lace it with what is going to happen this September or from next week, that is on the 29th of August, down, 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 down to, uh, I think, 4th of September, yes. That's what's happening in Cape Coast. We are going to experience the Guafu 2 official once again. After two years of COVID, see, if you come to Cape Coast and listen and feel the atmosphere right now, you will feel that something is about to go down. So let's talk about Asamujan. Okay, so uh, earlier part of this, no, last week, yes, earlier part of last week, Asamujan had an interview with BBC and he was asked if. He is going to come back into the Black Stars fold and he says, yes, you can count it out or you can rule it out. Just like Roger Miller some years ago was called back into the national team to play for uh, Cameroon in the World Cup. It's also possible. So he is actually looking forward to playing one last time in the World Cup. He is also actually looking forward to make an impact once again as the main striker for Ghana. Yes, this is a Samojan. You know, at one end of the table, that is good news. At the other side of the table, it calls for a lot of talk. And a lot of talk, what I mean is that, is he really fit to be there? That brings us to the point where videos started coming in. That a Samojan is training. He's been at the gym. He's been on the field. He's been doing some running, some cones and things. Like Jesus, a Samojan is really, really, really in the groove. To you know, represent Ghana in the World Cup, but is it really necessary? Oh, sorry, uh, maybe I'm being harsh, but is it really, really right? Uh huh, right for a Samojan to come into the fold at this point. Why? Because he has been inactive for how long? I think two years. Yes, he's that's how long he's been inactive. But for somebody being that inactive, coming in to play for the national team at the World Cup. See, it's not going to be easy. In the Ghanaian group, I think we have Ghana, we have uh, Portugal, we have Uruguay in that group. And chai, 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 chai. This is a tough group. Maybe Asamoja wants to come in and then have what you call the revenge because it is Uruguay we are playing against. Okay. But uh, is that really, really possible? <laughs> is that really possible? Because. Uh, as a to have 
that's revenge at this time uh, maybe yes maybe yes but the question of the day is should Asamojan be called into the fold should Asamojan be recalled into black stars should Asamojan be called to play for ghana one last time to have one last ride like the champion he is that like the pablo he is like the the the, the senior man that he is okay should he be called in let's also talk about this one you know uh as as he finished the interview tanks have been wagging sport journalists have been talking uh experts have been talking everybody is saying something here and there do you know why because they all feel that mm, yes or no that asamujan should go or yes or no asamujan should not go okay uh we've had dan kwekui abwa saying his bet that yes it's a good call to actually involve asamujan but he then comes forward to say that asamujan and the dayu are not on good talking terms they have bad blood between them and that the smells they've been having is only for the cameras that will bring me to the second part of the show today on since not grand podcast okay that is the the relationship between the players in the black stars fold okay now uh i think we've had gary our smith we've had uh other other uh michael otaj also coming in to say his bet everywhere everybody is talking everybody is talking but is it really <laughs> well personally personally i don't feel as Samojan should be brought in at this point why because uh i feel that he has been inactive for a long time and that you now putting himself under the strain to make to the world cup is actually going to worry him as uh more than be of good to him because that is putting your body through a lot of strain to get fit to be in shape two asamujan has not played in a long time so we can't actually base our assessment of asamujan to the world cup on say the three friendly games that are coming up say the the one between uh ghana and brazil and ghana and nicaragua no we can't really base on that because he's been that inactive another point is we know asamujan he is the top gun Asamojan is, is the main deal. Asamojan is the big dog. Okay. He is actually uh, the one with the highest goals for Ghana. Currently, Ghana national team. He's still leading. He's still the main man. And since he's been off, I think uh, the highest goals has been with uh, Dida Yu and then uh, the Kudus or Thomas Party. Yes, they were 4 4. That, that's the highest. We've not really had a prolific striker so far at this point but it doesn't mean that Asamojan should come in so personally I don't feel Asamojan should come in but before the uh, African Cup of Nations or before was it African Cup of Nations no it was before a tournament yeah we went for one of these tournaments where Ghana had to choose between Asamojan or the coach because happy at the time decided to make Asamojan the general captain of the Black Stars and did that you the main captain Thomas Party as the deputy captain or the assistant captain okay this thing didn't sit well with Ghanaians it didn't sit well with Asamojan himself because he felt he's been hard done by why because uh he's the he's the captain why should he be stripped of captaincy given to us uh Didayu? then again it comes back to the point where Damko Kuyabwa says that Asamojan and Didaya are not on good talking terms and that they only smile for the cameras so you see if Asamojan is coming do you honor him with a callback into the black stars as well as the captaincy is that what is going to happen or is he going to be under the rule of Didayu or is he going to become or is he going to uh, let it goes down to be under the captaincy of Didayu or he is definitely going to show that he's the big boss or the fact that I don't wear the captain's armband does not mean that I shouldn't be listened to or it doesn't mean that I should not be heard that he's going to push his shoulders around is that really what's going to happen that is something we need to talk about as a nation if we are really really ready or if we are really really clear that a Samojan coming into the fold is the right thing to do then uh, maybe yes but it is all in the hands of the coach it is all in the hands of the coach he gets to decide whether or not a Samojan should come he gets to decide whether or not who and who should play that is our test
<laughs> All the same, Charlie. Thank you, thank you so much for listening to Sense No Day Grand Podcast. Now, let's talk about the Guafa Tu Afashe, Cape Coast. Cape Coast happens to be one of the most historic cities in the world. Yes, this is where a lot of things happen way back in time. We talk about slavery. We've had a whole lot of them, a whole lot of instances. We have the Cape Coast Castle here. You move down Cape Coast to Elmina, have the Elmina Castle there. We have a whole lot of things in Cape Coast and Cape Coast Afasha is one of the biggest. No two ways about that. And that is marked by the biggest carnival in Ghana. The biggest carnival in Ghana. No two ways about that. I'm talking about the Orange Friday proudly brought to you by Cape FM in Cape Coast and now uh, partnered uh, by Asasi Radio also in Cape Coast now. Okay, Asasi Radio is currently in Cape Coast. So they have come together alongside other big, 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 big industry players making this thing happen. Cape Coast is going to be big next week, Monday to Sunday. If you are out there, if you are listening to me and if you can make it, if you are in Ghana or if you are out of Ghana, Come on to Cape Coast. This is where the vibe is. This is where the energy is. Something massive is coming inside Cape Coast. We are talking about September in Cape Coast. It's going to happen. Charlie, my name is MC Haymaker. This is the beginning of Sense Needle Grand Podcast. Once again, we are going to have fun. We are going to enjoy ourselves. You're going to learn. We are going to put everything in place just for you to, you know, enjoy yourself. Until next time, let's link up on all social media platforms. You can listen to the uh, podcast on on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, and a whole lot of others. We are there. Just search for Sense No Day Ground Podcast on Google, and you get a whole lot of options there to listen from. Thank you so much once again. Peace out. <laughs>